Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. This one is especially exciting because like the biggest thing to happen with, well, one of the biggest things to happen at the GBOGH flip home is happening today. I'm so freaking excited, but um, yesterday, so today's Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday, which was January 4th. So it was the first day of the year. And we did a whole entire like goal planning session with Shelby, Sarah and I about the business and like our goals for what we want to hit this year. And I know a lot of people love hearing those things and are interested in it. So um, we just have a few short clips that I just like kind of set up the camera and then film while we were doing it in the background. This is the structure that I set up for the goals. So I did who I want to be, what I want to learn, and then the quarters, and then by next year. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, that's really good. And then within each one, it's like, it's a toggle. So if you open it. Oh, is that in, um, oh my God, is that in Notion? I'm obsessed. So this is, shoot, like you can't, okay, there we go. Okay, so this is my BSL homepage. Here I have the links to our website, our YouTube, our Instagram, and our TikTok. Then I have like, these sections where okay so this is shelby i have like if i have stuff to tell the girls and i also have an opening shift that i created so like at the beginning of every work day like these are the things i go through and then i have like meetings so this is our deep dive that we had and i have like a structured the to do's that i need to do from the meeting i have sarah's notes in here i do it for everything so even i'm trying to get it set up for like my what? contacts and finance the heck so I have this and I want to get it to a point where, okay, so I have like Uncle Bob and Aunt Bat. Did they give me a gift? Yes. When <laughs> is their birthday? Uh, How much do I want to spend for birthday their birthday? Birthday is like... Yes. Okay. So then I can go to, I can filter it and go, okay, I want to see, um, I want to see the birthdays that, wait, I want to go to the birthday month of December. Okay. I know that these are all the people in December Shelby. who have birthdays. <laughs> and I know that I need to spend, have $40 put aside because that's how much wow. in total will be spent on birthdays in December. It is literally, it lets you get so granular yeah. and keep them as templates. I love granular I, right now. I'm absolutely obsessed with this thing. Wow, Truly. wow. Something that I definitely want to include in this vlog is my daily and like weekly routine. I know I'm obsessed with knowing people's morning routines and night routines and like work routines. So um, I'm going to be going through my morning and night routine. I've gotten like super, super micro this year because my word for 2022 is routine. <laughs> um, so I'll go over all of that. Okay, wait, just say hi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> We're at the house. Like, hi, Dad. We forgot to know this is gonna be the best vlog quality like ever. All right, we gotta go get mic'd up because we're gonna film. We're filming. We're filming. Filming. Do I have any boogers? I probably do. <laughs> if you you could probably see it, hi, Dad. Okay, we're on a time crunch because I got to get these windows cleaned up. But look at this! It's so crazy. So this used to be all a wall, completely a wall, and now it's open. It's like unreal. It's huge. I don't know if it's we're picking up how big it is. It's starting to work. Sophie's standing in the original. I'm standing in the original living room. And now, that's and now it's open to the addition. So that's gonna be the kitchen, dining room area, living room area. Okay, let's get into how I do my morning routine and my night routine. So I feel like I need to preface this with some things. One, I got so specific with this routine, like it's actually insane. I like really, really, really got micro and like tried to think of every single thing that I want to add in it. Because my issue with last year, with 2021, is that I get up early, but then like, I really didn't have like a plan in place, so I would forget to do things. And then also like 2021 was the first year that I wasn't in college. And I couldn't really figure out the work-life balance, if we're being honest. I really wanted to get good 
or just a schedule in place to make sure that like things like that were never forgotten, which is why I came up with this, which is why my word for 2021 is routines. Um, so in the newsletter that I sent out last week, I like have a template for this in it. If you aren't subscribed to the weekly newsletter that we send out or that I send out, subscribe right now. You can like, I'll put it in the description. Or we send out a weekly newsletter where I'll do like things like this, like wall art that we make, my favorite recipes, you know, different things like that. It's really, like really good looks for less. I could literally listen to someone's morning routine or read up on them and night routine so much. I think they're like so interesting and just like really share or just show a lot about a person. And I don't care if they're nurses, teachers, CEOs of big companies. Like I think it's so interesting to see how people structure out their mornings and nights. So let's get into mine. Okay, I'm a really early morning riser. And so I can handle getting up at like 5 a.m., which I know some people think that that's crazy. But for me personally, I my body, like I do so much better in the morning than I do at night. Like I shut down at night. And I really can get stuff done in the morning. So I have my alarm going off at 5 a.m. And wait, another thing too is I have two different routines. I have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday routine and I have a Tuesday, Thursday routine because that what makes the most amount of sense for me. So on both days, my alarm goes off at 5 a.m. But I'm a snoozer, so I know that my iPhone alarm snoozes are nine minutes each. So I give myself two snoozes. So my alarm goes off at 5 a.m. but I actually get out of bed at 5.18. And then I have it for Monday, Wednesday, Friday, where I will like brush my teeth, I get in workout clothes, I go work out, and then by that time, it's like 6.45. And so this is where I start like implementing the things that need to get done that I used to not schedule out before. So I would have at like 6.45, I unload the dishwasher, I shine the sink, and I check the calendar. Okay, you're probably wondering why the F are you shining your sink? Well... During break, I discovered this woman, Fly Lady Cleaning, and people are obsessed with her. Like, I can't even tell you they're so obsessed with her, and they swear by her routine. And so basically, she has like a routine and schedule that she does, but instead of doing like one big cleaning on like a Sunday, which is what I usually would do, like I would do like three hours of cleaning, and then some weeks I miss, and it's just like not good. She does it where it's like 15 minute cleaning, every single day so instead of doing one lump one you kind of divide it out and aunt bet if you know aunt bet she does it that same exact way too so um she swears by a few things one of those is shining your sink she always has a shiny sink when she goes to bed at night and then in the morning um so i have that added in there so i unload the dishwasher i shine the sink and i check my calendar checking my calendar has been huge I have a calendar that's like an overall month calendar that's hanging on the inside of one of my kitchen cabinets and in there I have like birthdays listed. Um, I like write out the meal that we're doing for um, the weekend like how Ben and I have structured it is Monday and Wednesday we make a new meal and then Tuesdays and Thursdays we eat leftovers from the night before and then Fridays and Saturdays. We normally just like eat out. Honestly, Sunday's a wild card. You never know. I don't know what we're gonna do on Sundays. That has been so nice because when I check the calendar in the morning and I can like see that it's my friend's birthday or it's an anniversary of someone and I can text them right away because like sometimes I would forget to text my friends or whoever event it was and then I feel like a horrible person texting them at seven o'clock at night. So this way it's like done right away in the morning and I'm not forgetting about it. Um, okay. That was at 6.45. 6.55, I make my bed. 7 a.m., I put a load of laundry in the washing machine. And on I only do this on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. because on, And then on Mondays, I do a load of my white clothes because my sheets are also white. So then I do my sheets on Monday. And then I at 7.05, I get in the shower. It takes me 45 minutes to get ready usually. So I give myself until 7.55 to be completely like dressed, showered, ready to go. And then I, for, I have five minutes to vacuum the bathroom, wipe down the sinks and the mirror. And I just use like a microfiber cloth and then water. Like I don't bring out the actual like cleaner. I just give it a good wipe down. That's a fly lady cleaning method right there. Then now it's eight o'clock and I'm making tea. I'm filling my water bottle and I'm grabbing lunch. And then I want to start working by 8.20. So I work from 8.20 to 5.30 every single day. 
So that's kind of my schedule, my morning routine for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then my night routine on Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays are pretty, they're not intense at all, but they're more intense than my Tuesday, Thursday routines. So my night routine for Monday, Wednesday, Friday is divided up by different nights. So on Monday, that is my house blessing day. This is a fly lady cleaning thing. So basically you spend like an hour doing your kind of bigger cleaning for the week. And so I chose, it makes most sense for me and my schedule and just how I live my life to have that on Monday. And this big weekly cleaning consists of vacuuming, dusting, mopping, polish the mirrors and doors, going through mail, changing sheets and emptying all my trash. So basically what the fly lady teaches you is that you put on a timer for 10 minutes and you do each one of those tasks. So for example, put on a timer and then you vacuum as much as you possibly can for 10 minutes. Put on another timer once that 10 minute timer goes off for 10 minutes and do 10 minutes of dusting. And then you do 10 minutes of mopping, 10 minutes of polishing the mirrors and doors, blah, blah, blah. It adds up to like an hour. And the whole point of this is like not being perfect because you get a lot more perfect in your zone cleaning. So you'll hear about zone cleaning in two seconds. But Monday's a house blessing night where I take an hour and I do like the, you know, kind of more bigger cleaning and then um wednesdays is date night okay so put away laundry it's a smaller load because you're dividing it up so then that like i already did it it takes me like 10 minutes to actually put it away the thing is is what i realized is you make in your mind that things take a lot longer but then you set a timer and you actually time yourself doing something and it is not nearly as long so that's kind of some i don't know i thought that was i've learned that about myself but so I put away laundry, then I do 15 minutes of zone cleaning. Okay, so zone cleaning is where you get a lot deeper into your, like, it's like deeper cleaning. And so basically you divide your home into four zones. So my four zones are kitchen, which is one zone. The second zone is living room and laundry. Third zone is bedroom and bathroom. Fourth zone is entrance and the guest bedroom. And so then every week, is zone one, zone two, zone three, and zone four. So for like this week for my zone cleaning, you do 15 minutes of zone cleaning each day. So yesterday I put on a timer for 15 minutes and I cleaned the appliances and then I cleaned the fridge and cle the cleaned the fridge and freezer and I like cross those off. Let's see if this will focus. Come on, come on. Um, because I cross those off because then tonight I'm doing another 15 minute round and then I'm going to do clean the inside and outside fridge of cabinets and drawers, clean under the sink. I'm just going to get through as much as I possibly can. And you do that every single, you do that five days. And then by the time five days is up, you've like deep clean and it's so much easier. And like 15 minutes doesn't seem like a lot of time in the moment, but like obviously it adds up and accumulates during the week. So I do 15 minutes of zone cleaning and then I do 15 minutes of a daily task. So the daily task I have divided out. So Mondays is my big cleaning, okay? So that's like the house blessing that I told you about. Tuesdays, I'm cleaning the car, I'm paying my bills and finances, and I'm ordering slash sending gifts. So like birthday cards, birthday gifts, different stuff like that. Um, Wednesday's date night, so that's my task for Wednesdays. And then, today's Wednesday by the way, so tonight's date night. And then Thursday, I'm ordering groceries for Sunday pickup. And then I have nothing on Friday and Saturday because I know me and Fridays I'm doing something with my friends or like Ben's family or Shelby or Stella or whatever. Um, so I don't want anything Saturday. I want a completely free day. Like I don't wanna have to do anything. And then Sunday, I do errands and returns, pick up groceries, make lunches for the week and fill up cars with gas. Okay, so those are my daily tasks. I feel like I need to re-go through the nighttime so it makes more sense. Okay, so basically my night, my Monday, Wednesday, Friday nights consist of a Friday's like not really. Are putting away laundry, 15 minutes of zone cleaning, 15 minutes of daily task. Then before I go to bed, I load the dishwasher, I shine the sink, and I clean the kitchen counters. I like make sure I just put the pillows back on the couch because we usually lay on the couch. I put the pillows back on the couch, check my calendars, like my work schedule for the next day just so I'm like prepared and have a clear mind about it. Because if I don't like know what's happening the next day, sometimes I can get like anxious about that. Um, I get my lunch ready, but I didn't even do that this week because I meal prepped on Sunday, so it was already ready to go. And then I put out clothes for the next day. Because I'm waking up so early in the morning, 
I want to make sure that my clothes are ready to go and I don't have to think about it and also if I put out clothes at night that gives me more time to think about it so my outfits are cuter even though contradictory to this outfit it's not that cute but um that's kind of my thought process with that and then I just get the work my work bag at the front door so in the morning when I'm going through my tasks I'm not like forgetting things because you have so much more time at night that seems like a lot but like it doesn't it's like not a lot at all once you get it like it's it's just not it's really fast okay that was my Monday Wednesday Friday the Tuesday Thursday is gonna be a lot easier to understand because I'm not explaining things to you so I'm just gonna read through okay Tuesday Thursday 5 a.m. alarm goes off 5 18 I get out of bed 5 20 I brush my teeth I get into my workout clothes that are already set up and I make the bed at um, 5.30, this is a really early morning, at 5.30 I do zone clean. So I do 15 minutes of that week's zone that I need to do. And then at 5.45 I do my daily task. So like, for example, that's the clean, the clean car, but like I usually clean the car at night because I'm not going to go to my car at 5.45 in the morning. That's like insane. Um, pay bills and finances, order, send gifts. And then on Thursdays I order groceries for Sunday pickup. Um, at 6 a.m. I unload the dishwasher, wipe the counters and sink, and then I check my calendar. At 6.15, I will go and work out. At 7.10, I wash off my body. I don't do my hair. I only, like, I fully shower on Monday, Wednesday, fr Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, but I will wash my body off on Tuesday, Thursdays. Um, by 7.55, I'm like fully ready for the day, so I make my tea, I fill my water bottle up, and I grab my lunch, and then I'm at work by 8.20. So that is my Tuesday, Thursday routines, and then the reason that I have so much going on in the morning on Tuesday, Thursdays is because my nights are like so open. So at night, I go to Orange Theory, and then I we eat leftover dinner, so we don't have to make any food, which is so nice. I shower. I load the dishwasher, I shine the sink, clean the counters, put out clothes for tomorrow, and then I go to bed. Um, so that's going to stress some people out, but for me, like having a clear schedule like that and a plan helps me so much and just like eases my anxiety. So, Also, one thing to add um, yeah. for you is that in Atomic Habits, you learn once you get into a routine, then you don't have to think about it and yes. you can focus on the things that are more important. Where it becomes second nature and you don't you don't have to worry about like oh when am I gonna do this when am I gonna do that it's in your schedule you're no that's it doesn't so have to good. take up brain storage I think that's why I like this so much especially with like the daily tasks like I would always forget to do things mm -hmm. and this way it's like set in stone like you know I don't forget it because it's yeah. it's in the schedule and and like you said like you were stressed out like oh the dishwasher hasn't been done in this long like when am I gonna do this when am yeah. I gonna do the laundry and now it's set in stone. Once you develop this habit, you want to think about it. Well, it's so much more manageable, too. Like, before, my dishwasher would literally be filled to the brink. Like, there would be stuff in the sink. Like, that's overwhelming, so I didn't want to do it. But now, since we're consistent with it, it's yeah. so much easier to go through. And, like, it takes, like, literally two minutes to unload the dishwasher because it's not jam-packed, like, an insane amount. And there's not a ton of stuff in the sink that you need to go, like, rinse off and put in. Yeah. I love about the fly clean, like, whatever her name fly is. Fly clean. I don't even is know that she clean. doesn't plan her groceries on the weekends she yes does it don't you think it's week. don't you think it's think genius, genius. The, the doing ordering it on thursday and picking I up on sunday genius like automating your life anyways okay that's our talk shelby and i literally could go on and on and on about daily routines we're obsessed with them and then you'll see here so i just have these like i got a command hook and i put them on the back of my cabinets like this um and then I just got one of these things, you know, so it can stick onto the command hook. But then I got a sticky note and started my grocery list. So I know I need deodorant and I need to get spices for the neighbor. <laughs> um, so that way I can just not forget about things. Like literally the whole point of this is so I'm not forgetting about things because that has become a personality trait for me is forgetting things. And that is not, not a good one to have. But that's my morning routine. Okay, that took like literally so long. The people that care will really care about this, I feel like though. It is Thursday. I went on a walk for my exercise. Um, ordered groceries to pick up. And now I'm heading to the coffee shop. It's Sarah's. Sarah leaves back for New York City at um, noon. So we're going to go spend a few hours there just like working together and 
But anyways, I don't really know. I need to figure out my plan for today. I want to go to thrift stores in the area to see if I can find twin beds that are like vintage and just like anything else that could be of substance for this house. Hi, Shelby. Hi. Sarah's face isn't allowed in the video. Wait, but you can't. No, I'm trying. I thought you were waving. Uh oh. Your face isn't in it. It's your scarf. <laughs> It's a travel day. I was so. showing her. Um, yes, yeah, Sarah and I have very different travel day outfits. I was on my Instagram stories. I was showing these gloves that I think are so cute and they look so warm. They're, They're from Maritzia. So I need to buy them. They're really warm. Wow. I look great right now, too. All right, we're at St. Vincent de Paul. Let's see if we can find anything good for the house. <laughs> I feel like this could be kind of cool. <laughs> Maybe. It could it could be worse, that's for sure. It's the best one I've seen probably so far. I like that other one over there of the building, but the frame is like fake wood, which I don't like. Good section. Why is it? It's always in the enemy. There we go. Now you can really see. This could actually work for the master. Do you think it's wood? <laughs> oh my gosh. I think we buy it. Probably buy things. I've decided not to get that dress up right away. But we have this. I got these, which I thought were. <laughs> I don't know. I have to style the kitchen, so who knows? But then this I thought was so pretty because it's like real. I don't know. Change the print, obviously. Um, and then these for styling the kitchen, they're in dollars. So figure, you know. Worst case, we don't use them. But like, look at all this. I don't know what you'd actually put in these, but they're cute. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's now Monday. It has not been the best weekend for us over here on saturday we tested positive for covid which is so sad so um yeah i've been out for the count like i've been legitimately sick shelby here i'll turn you so you're not facing the sun shelby also is <laughs> and she doesn't have symptoms so um she's lucky I feel like I have the flu. Why is it for some reason like the camera's not getting probably because I've dropped it so many times. I felt like I've had the mix of the flu and ear infection and strep throat. <laughs> so it's now Monday and the show must go on. Um, so since doesn't it stink? I was on the phone with Stella. It was like right when we started our new routine. No, it really does suck because like last week was so good. Like we were so in we a were groove. On top of our shit. Yeah, and like it just felt good and so this is just like ugh, are you kidding me like such a setback, but it's fine We're gonna persevere through it. We're trying to still stick in a routine and luckily with like our jobs We can do it all from home. So um, I thought I would do a work day with me that you could see what I'm doing from home because this vlog has been a little uh there i feel like okay so basically this morning i didn't do my whole morning routine just because i'm trying to like listen to my body and sleep in and stuff so i slept i skipped like the workout part of my routine and i got up at like 7 a.m and then um i'm doing my sheets right now because monday is my white day so all my sheets are in the laundry room over there and then i'm going um, I sat down and did emails. I have to send out payments to all the subcontractors uh, for the flip house. So I did that. And it's actually like, I feel like I have to be so focused because I don't want to mess up on it. It's like the first big girl task I have had to do. But now, what time is it? It's 8.42 and I'm in my, I have until 9 to kind of plan out the week and answer emails. So we can start out the week with a blank canvas. So that's what I'm going to do right now. But um, I'll keep updating you. Today is packed with meetings. Like I have meeting after meeting after meeting. So I'll show you. I'll take you along the whole process. And then we're making a really, really good dinner tonight.
Okay, next meeting is with Sarah. This is our Monday morning meeting where we go over basically what's happening the entire week and like get on the same page. Sarah, how are you doing? I'm great, how are you? I'm fantastic. <laughs> Never been better so before. <laughs> I, you just say I'm quitting? I'm just thriving. Oh, I thought you were like, Sophie's I'm quitting. quitting. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I am, I'm done. Ugh. Now 9.39 and I am spending the next um, like two hours until noon content planning and get every getting everything scheduled until like February, you literally can't see me. Getting everything scheduled for um, blog posts, social media, different things like that all the way up until June. All right, we're doing a secret, not a secret, a very COVID-friendly drop-off of bills. All right, so I have 15 minutes. I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm like declining. Like, I feel really sick. But um, I have 15 minutes to whip up a dinner, and I'm doing a slow cooker dinner, and I'm kind of like improvising it from a recipe I found online. So, okay, so this is the recipe that I found. So it's slow cooker seasoned chicken, potatoes, and green beans. And so she does a ton of seasonings on it, but that kind of gave me an idea. Okay, I can do chicken, I can do green beans, I can do potatoes. And then, if you know Aunt Pet, we love Aunt Pet. She swears by these recipe secrets onion packets, and she like puts them over potatoes, and they're literally the best potatoes in the world. But I think what I'm gonna do is melt some butter, mix this in, and then pour it over the entire thing. Put it in a slow cooker for four hours, and then hopefully that makes a really good dinner. So I have the chicken breast, then I have the green beans, and then I have the red potatoes cut up. And now I'm going to mix this, mix some butter with this. This is what it is. We have the red potatoes, the chicken, green beans. Then I put this over top of it. I'm gonna cover this for four hours on high. So it's two o'clock right now. So it'll be ready right at six o'clock, which is perfect for us. I'm done for the day. I closed the computer. Um, I spent, well, Sarah and I had an email or meeting about our email course that we're creating. I'm watching Real Housewives of Orange County. If you watch it, isn't it funny how like everyone is so scared of Heather Dubrow. Like Heather Dubrow, I was just telling Shelby, Heather Dubrow has them wrapped around her little finger. Um, so I'm just gonna clean up and then I have 13 more minutes before this is done. I can eat and I'm taking NyQuil and then I'm going to sleep right away. I really am. Um, <laughs> I need a vlog with this little look here. Um, okay, I'm going to bed. <laughs> it's eight o'clock and I just need to sleep. So I'm about to turn off the lights. But I got my back heater that I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna go watch some vlogs or some TV show, Bravo, I don't know. I have fresh sheets on the bed that I'm getting into. But that wraps up this, <coughs> this vlog this sick vlog um i hope you have a great week and next week guess what the video is target shopping with me so i'm gonna go shopping at target and redecorate this place a little bit since um all the christmas decor is down and then something like really excited happened this week that i can't <laughs> it's so annoying that i can't say yet but maybe next i don't know i don't know when i'll be able to talk about it if it's even happening who knows but um that's all i got for you so make sure to subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram at by sophia lee follow me on tiktok that's all i've got for you i will see you at next week's video target shopping with me Woo!